Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. I've been working on a project for some months now. You may have noticed in the videos that I put out that behind me there are two Turnergy 9X radios. Now what I wanted to do was to convert these radios to OpenTX as a, as a project. Especially with this particular one because it's got a Hobby King module in it. Because I have a lot of receivers for this uh, module. So I searched the internet to find out to how to do it because I've had this radio over well over 10 years. I've had both of these radios and they work perfectly. So I've searched the internet and I found out how you do this. Now my soldering isn't absolutely 100% but I managed to solder the six wires that I needed to to the board and then I just could not get it to work. It would not work. I kept playing around with the drivers on my laptop to see if it was to do with that, but I just could not figure it out. And searching the internet, I couldn't find any reasons why it wasn't working. And I used a magnifying glass to check my soldering to make sure there are no bridges. Well, on Sunday, I was a little bit bored. So I t decided to revisit the project and I opened up the radio. Again, had a look, everything seemed fine. Then I moved on to my second one. My second one, which has got a free sky, old free sky module in. And I wired that up. The wiring seemed okay. And it's still, that one wouldn't work. I was thinking there was a problem with the USB TTL serial adapter. And I had two of them because the idea is to actually install it permanently. I don't know if you'll ever see that, but you can see where I've installed this one permanently. But no, to no avail, it just wouldn't work. Then I went on to a website and to check out what could be going wrong. And I saw a picture. Now I'm gonna put these two pictures up on the screen. Just in case someone out there, even these, these I know these are still available on um, the Hobby King site. So possibly, I don't think it has OpenTX and you might wanna convert it to OpenTX, which is a lot better than the original operating system um, on this radio. And I noticed something, that one of the wires was soldered in a different place. Now, it, in the first picture, in the first tutorial that I found, it was soldered to a pad. And on the second one uh, source I found with a picture, it was soldered to a resistor. So I read up and it said that you had to put the, I can't remember if it was Mosi or Mossy, whichever one it was, had to go onto this pad on the first picture that I found. But on the second picture, it said, there is no pad for this. You have to put it onto the resistor. So of course, I unsoldered it, put it onto the resistor, and Bob, your uncle, there we go. Everything was working. I managed to download the old firmware onto my computer uh, using EP, I think it's called EP. And then I uploaded the new software. So these, both these radios now, have OpenTX, I think it's version 2.1, but they work a treat. And I spent last night while I was watching TV learning how to program it because it's slightly different to the OpenTX, the way it works on this radio compared to how it does on jump, the Jumper T16. Um, so, but anyway, I got there and there we go. So now I've got two functioning radios. This one I probably won't ever use, but this one will until Jumper, the Jumper T16 or the multi protocol module has the uh, firmware adjustment to be able to use the receivers that I use with this Hobby King uh, module unit. At the moment, I can't, I've tried everything because I think it's AF, AFD, AFDHS and I could not get it to bind to my uh, Jumper T16, the receivers that bind to this unit. Uh, but I, I will keep looking out and see if something comes up that I can do that. But until then, I carry on wanting to use this radio because it can connect to, I must have 15 receivers. So if I build other planes, I, I want to be able to use them. But hopefully the Jumper T6 multi-protocol module will come up with that eventually. Here is a picture of the board of my Turner G 9X so that I could show you how I wired it. I used a USB to TTL serial module to do this, which I got off of Amazon. Now down here is where the R goes, which is the reset. The next one, now on the diagrams that I've been looking at, the SCK went here, but when I wired up my radio that way, it would not flash the firmware. So 
I found another website that said connect it to the six resistor along here. So that's where I put the SCK and that then worked. MISO goes here, mostly there, the voltage there and ground here. And after I switched those two over, it worked perfectly. So this is the diagram I would use if I was going to flash my Turner G9X to OpenTX. There we go, OpenTX on my Turner G9X. If you'd like me to go into more detail how I converted my Turner G9X over to OpenTX, then please leave your comments in the comment section below saying you'd like me to do that and I will produce a video of me, how, how this is done and where to wire it up correctly. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Disarm motor.